Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. It's old Pappy back with another one and you're probably looking at my screen thinking, am I, do I got the wrong game here? I'm looking for war robots videos. I'm not looking for space games. What in the world am I looking at here? Well, what you're looking at is one of the most controversial suggested changes to war robots since the game came came on the market back in 2014. I've been playing since the fall of 2014 and I have seen everything under the sun. And this is one of the most, I guess one of the most divisive ideas that Pixonic has come up with. And whether or not you like it or you love it, it really is polarizing. And so what is it? Well, it's the idea of an orbital strike from a, um, and uh, basically a drop ship located in space, orbital support, and basically what they can do is they just they're in orbit around the planet and while we're fighting in our in our robots is the commanders are duking it out up in the sky you can call in a strike and you can call in a strike to damage your enemies or you can call in a strike that will heal and protect your teammates and you can see on the screen here please pause the video read what all of these different things do in effect, it's kind of like Titans in a way. Why? Well, there's a base level um, uh, turret you can put on your spaceship and they they take different types of turrets. And then, there, of course, there's a premier um, or a premium style uh, turret that you can add onto your ship that basically shoots this beam down to the battlefield. And you can see here, there's uh, different types. Um, as I mentioned, you get these target ray uh, cannons. Um, you get this uh, Aegis self system uh, protective unit. And so the target ray, for instance, um, it's a radius of, of, of 50 meters. It does 17,000 damage. Or if you bump it up to the laser blast cannon, you can do 25,000 damage in one shot. Um, with this self-protective uh, system, the Aegis Blast system, for instance, it creates an Aegis shield of about 55,000 damage that encircles you and your teammates and protects you. So let's get right at it right away. And I'm also going to show you a little bit as well about, um, as I mentioned, how it's kind of like Titans. And in that, look at the little button. They're getting buttons all over the screen now. But take a look at the little button to the left-hand side, that, that percentage number that goes up and up. Right now it's sitting at 11. Basically, the more damage I do, the the more the orbital strike charges. So ready, and of course, when you got a kill there, you can see right away when I got a kill, it jumped from about 19% to 51%. So obviously, the more kills you get, the more quickly you power up your orbital strike. Um, I mean, don't pay attention to the, to the battle, um, <laughs> to the actual battle. I, I'm not even trying. All I want to do is really just get this percentage up to 100 and then push the button and see what happens. And so right now, um, I have the laser cannon uh, equipped and I'm basically trying to get this thing uh, to 100% so that I can actually call down a strike and try to damage uh, damage the enemy here, I guess. I don't know. I mean, this is really the first time I've had a chance to play it. Um, it it it's, it's kind of confusing, but it's also kind of basic, right? It's sort of like just, I, I assume, just point and shoot. Um, so the real trick is, can we get it up to 100%? And I look at this as well. What I'm seeing here is that it is going up, but it looks like when you're shooting shields, the percentage does not go up. So, hmm. So, okay, so that's kind of interesting. And clearly when you're shooting people that are phase shifting, it doesn't go up. Okay, look, so now, now it's charged and it's just sitting there waiting for me to use. So I'm going to aim it at this guy and see if it does anything. Oh, you can see the little smoke blast where it hit. And it, it hmm, it didn't do anything. It didn't do it didn't even hurt the guy. So, uh, I mean, maybe his Aegis shield stopped it. Maybe, maybe another guy. I mean, there was a guy with an absorber shield there for a second. That's really confusing. Okay, well, whatever, man. Let's, 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 don't worry about the deaths. Don't worry about nothing else. We're just going to keep, we're going to come back at her again. We're going to try it again. Old Pappy's getting a little confused, here. So let's get in. We're 19% charge. Oh, by the way, I got that new Bane weapon. You can see that uh, orange squirty stuff coming out of the shell there. That's the new heavy Bane weapon. It's basically a flamethrower, but it shoots acid. 
works the same way. I did a video, check it out on my channel. Um, okay, so here's a guy, he just popped in down here. Let's see, 21%, 23, 25, 27. So it's going up kind of fast, but not, um, not insanely fast, is it? Uh, you know, it's funny. I'm going to take a little five second chat here about, okay, we're up to 90%. Okay, so 92. Okay, still 92. Okay, I guess I'm shooting that guy's shields. Um, not charging. Let's see if I can make a charge with this guy here. Shoot him in the arse a couple times here. 96. Okay, charged. Okay, let's see. What's going to happen here? Do I, am I going to get a chance to, to target somebody? Let me think. Who, who I, I want to get somebody that I can clearly see. Ah, son of a gun. Come on, now I'm trying to I'm trying to test this out, boys. Don't be shooting me. Okay, let's come back at her again. I just want to I want to target someone without his shield so I can actually see if they're going to do some damage here. No point in shooting an Aegis shield or an absorber shield. Okay, so I okay, well let's watch. There it is. There's the strike. That was it. That yellow beam that just fell down from the sky apparently is the beam. Um, I didn't see it do a whole hell of a lot of damage. Did you guys see a lot of damage there? I, this is getting to be really weird. Okay, one of the weird things about the test, this is the test server, by the way. One of the weird things about the test server is that sometimes there's glitches and you're, you're playing and you're like, you don't know if you're, if it's real, not real. Sometimes you're glitching all over the place. Sometimes, I mean, this is where they work out bugs, right? So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so here we are again, but I got my, I got my, my thing powered up again. Double kill. Okay, I just want to aim at somebody that doesn't have a shield. Let's see if I can get this thing. That guy got a shield. I'm getting the snot pounded out of me here. That guy, that guy's stealth. I don't want to waste it. Ah, okay. Let me just think here. I'm going to come back one more time. I'm going to try to use my, my laser cannon. See, another guy that's shielded. I don't want to hit anybody that's shielded, so we're going to be patient. Okay. Okay, here it comes. Okay. Um, I can't even tell if that was me that did damage or the other guy that did damage. I must have, it must have been me. But it did, um, if I remember the stat, it was something like 25,000 damage. Okay, so let's take a little step back. I think you guys kind of got an idea now of how this system works, right? And I think the same idea that if I if I equipped my other drop ship with the Aegis shield, I would be surrounded by a massive Aegis shield and so would my teammates and it's there for a few seconds until the enemy shoots it down. So that's kind of how it works. So let's just take a little talk a little bit about why is this why is this idea controversial? Well, the biggest concern I've seen on the Facebook pages and in the Discord and everything else is that people are worried that top level big spender clans will basically all get their drop ship, all supercharge it up, and then immediately all, talking on comms, immediately target one enemy on the other team. And basically 25 times six, uh, you know, whatever the hell the math is for that, I mean, that's, that's 120, probably between 120 to 130, some 140,000 damage instantly dealt from across the battlefield from outer space and the fear is that the clan guys basically will just get on comms and they'll say okay target uh, old pappy uh, hey we recognize old pappy we know he's in a top clan let's take him off the board and they would just target me and basically one shot i can't stop them i can't protect myself as long as i'm not shielded i'm dead you know, one or two shots, I'm dead. And they would just do that repeat, 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 repeat. And you can just picture this sort of nightmare scenario of just nothing but um, orbital drop ships shooting you before you even get a chance to leave your spawn. That's basically, in a nutshell, what the, what the issue and the problem is. Now, what I'm going to say, though, is that generally when Pixonic has put this much work and effort and design into a new feature... It's generally going to come into the game. And I know right now there's a petition going on. People are trying to rally the, you know, rally the troops and, and get things signed and sent it off to Pixonic. And maybe they'll change things. Maybe they'll make it a little bit harder to, um, to charge up your orbital strike ship. But I guarantee you, um, unless some crazy miracle happens, it will be coming into the game. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a line in the comments about um, what you think about this new planned introduction into the game of dro dropships. 
Is it a great idea? Is it garbage? Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. And as always, um, you know, uh, subscribe and share if you like. And until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.